For our final point, we start with a photo instead of a video. It is a photo of Mitt Romney's former dog, Seamus. Now, he's become a bit of a legend because in 1983, they strapped him to the roof of a car as they were going from Boston to Canada. And people can't stop talking about it. Now, he was in a cage, but he also pooped all over the car. Lots of fun angles to this story. Uh, and media obsessed with it to the point where you'd think that Seamus was his VP. Uh, and the question that arises here as uh, we look at Seamus is, uh, and there he is, oh, and he's even there with kittens. Well, you look at that. I, that doesn't seem to make sense, but nonetheless. Uh, so the question is, does the media focus too much on trivialities? Uh, Lynn, let's start with you. I think there are two ways to look at this. Uh, what do you mean by too much? Right, so um, I think more now than ever because there is more news hole to fill, um, right? You have to talk about something, so stuff like this is interesting. People want to watch stuff like this. So more than ever, yes. Um, on the other hand, you know, would it be more informative for people to learn this kind of information directly by covering policy and things like that? Yes, but the fact is nobody would watch those shows. Those shows exist on PBS. Nobody watches them. Well, a decent number of people watch PBS. I have a different theory, but I, I, I don't disagree with what you're saying. They are more entertaining. I think she's going far too easy on the American people. What is this, a nation of fucking children? Jesus <laughs> Christ, the world is melting! Right? Stop talking about the dog! Stop it! Turn off the stupid TV crap and pay attention! This is, I, feel like the, I feel like our country is going off a cliff. I mean, honestly, like, what do we have, five, ten years before we can still turn around climate change? Like, it, it, It's going off a Cliff, and everyone is looking out the back window of the car going, ah, oh, look at the sunset. Hey, look, there's a girl in a bikini. <laughs> there's a freaking cliff, right? <laughs> okay, yes, I agree with you. Uh, but at the same time, to Lynn's point, Jill, look, people will say, hey, listen, you know what? Maybe it does give you some insight. Now, maybe the donut thing doesn't, the cookie thing doesn't, but he strapped his dog to a car. That seems really weird and possibly inhumane for a 12-hour car ride. Does that give you some insight into his character? I guess it could, but is that the part of his character we want an insight into, really? Is he going to risk putting the nation's dogs on top of his car? <laughs> it's but if you're, just, if it's you're not in the important. Romney campaign, you worry about these adding up, right? He's, he says the cookies are from 7-Eleven, he straps his dog to the roof, he cuts the kid's hair off, and it all adds up to he's insensitive. His wife owned right, a couple but, of Cadillacs. But right, the, so the he's rich. See, I think that's a gap that matters. Rich and insensitive. Because he doesn't get you because he says, what, look, I buy American, right. I bought a couple of Cadillacs for my wife. Right. Like, so you, right. you get a sense maybe he doesn't understand yeah. your problem. And he's like friends, with, he's like friends with the NASCAR owners. I yeah. like the owners, yeah, yeah. Right. right. So, I mean, those kinds of things are, those seem like trivial moments, but they add up to a, a caricature of him that a lot of people will buy into, rich and sensitive. In this next election, the dog vote is going to be big, all right? There's going to be a lot of dogs <laughs> voting, and if they don't get purged from the rolls, you know, Rick Scott wants to take them <laughs> off. But I Right, no, I hear you. Okay. So, uh, now, I do have a different theory on why the media does this. It's not just because it's more entertaining and it's easier, etc., than trying to explain climate change, social security, whatever it might be. I, my theory is that if you get into substance, you're going to get into trouble if you're the media. Because if you explain Mitt Romney's... you got research. You know, well, no, no. But it's not just that. They get accused of being biased. If they actually give you the honest truth,